hello and welcome. In this presentation, I will show you how to log in in Windows 10. I will describe the elements in the desktop screen and we'll take a closer look to the taskbar and a start menu. Finally, I will show you how to turn off a PC computer. After you turn on the computer, the first screen will ask you to log in. Each computer can be set up in a different way. For this computer, I need to select a username and type in a password to log in. I select the username by placing the cursor on the username and clicking on it. Then I type in the password and click the arrow or press the enter key on the keyboard to continue. I am now in the main screen called desktop. The desktop screen displays shortcuts of the apps installed and the taskbar. In the taskbar, you will find the tools of the operating system needed to use your computer. Text pops up when the mouse is placed on some of the icons. This pop-up text is either the name of the application or information provided by the application. For example, when the mouse is placed on this icon, the pop-up text indicates the name of the application. This is File Explorer. When I place the mouse on this icon, the pop-up text is given information on how much time is left before the battery runs out. On the far left of the taskbar is the icon of the Start menu. Click on this icon to open the Start menu. In the Start menu, you can find all the applications installed on your computer in alphabetical order. Right next to the Start menu is the Search box. Here, you can search for applications by typing their name or search for files stored on your computer. The clock and other icons are on the far right. The clock shows the current time and date. There is also the icon to adjust the volume and the network icon shows when your computer is connected to the internet. Back on the start menu, I now locate the operating system tools. One of them is the power icon. Three options appear after clicking on the power icon. Restart, sleep, or shut down your computer. Turn off the computer by clicking on shut down. Do not try to turn off the computer using the power button. To summarize, a username and a password are needed to log in into Windows 10. From the start menu, you can open applications and shut down the computer. It is important to always shut down the computer from the start menu. Thanks for watching. Thank you.